Okay guys, so we're going to be talking about the hang clean for this video. And for this, we're going to go ahead and start and put our feet underneath our hips. We're going to angle out our toes slightly, similar to the snatch, if you've already watched that video. The reason that we angle out our toes is because we want our knees to drive out in the direction of our toes when we eventually move down into a dipping position. Um, if we have them forward, then what tends to happen as we dip down is those knees cave in, just not as good on our knee joints, and does not make full use of those quad muscles. For our grip, we're going to have our hands just outside of our thighs here. I tell people to kind of take a thumb width distance um, from your thighs, and then from there you're going to wrap what we call a hook grip. So you're going to put your thumb around the bars, and your fingers go around your thumb. I'll show you a close-up of that. Thumb around the bar, fingers go around your thumb. So it should feel relatively unnatural, or maybe a little awkward, but it is necessary for Olympic lifting, for keeping a tight grip, and it's good for rotation. From here, we're going to focus on our upper body. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is punch your elbows out wide and high into what we call a scarecrow position. You're going to keep that bar super close to your stomach. It's called a scarecrow position because it's kind of like a scarecrow hanging in the field with those elbows up towards the sky. And let's go ahead and do that three times. And punch, two, three, good. And then from here, once we make our way up to our chest, then we're gonna take those elbows and pull them on through into our clean position. So we're gonna to punch to our chest, elbows lead, pull through, and then you're trying to get that barbell essentially back on your shoulders. Um, we're hanging on to that hook grip for now. Um, well, in our next step, we'll release it. Let's try again. Punch our elbows up, pull through into our final clean position. Keep it nice and close, pull through, that barbell onto your shoulders. If you're not flexible enough to get onto those shoulders, maybe once we release that hook grip, you will be. So we'll talk about that in this step. So um, the, eventually the goal is to get it on our shoulders so that our shoulders can bear most of the weight. But if you keep that hook grip, that what tend to ha tends to happen is it restricts you from getting there. And then it's going to keep all the weight in our forearms of that barbell. So we need to release that hook grip as we make our way to the finishing position of the clean. So I'm going to show you a close-up of what this looks like. So I'm going to punch my elbows up here, and then as I start to pull my elbows through, what's going to happen is the barbell is going to roll back into the back part of my thumbs and even into those fingertips so that it finishes here on top of my shoulders into what we call a front rack position. Let's try that from a side view. Punch, elbows pull through, hook grip releases, and I roll back onto those shoulders into my finishing position of the front rack of the, of, uh, the finishing clean position. So let's go ahead and put that together. Let's do it two times through. Punch, pull through into that release. One more time. Punch, pull through into that release. Awesome. Now, let's go ahead and pull our body underneath of the bar next. So as I start to pull those elbows through, not only am I going to pull my elbows through, but I'm going to take hold of this PVC pipe and I'm going to pull my body down underneath of it into a mini squat. Don't worry about the feet so much. We're just thinking about pushing that butt out and finishing into what we call a mini squat or dipping position. So I punch my elbows to the side, elbows pull through, release that hook grip, and finish here into a mini squat. Punch, pull through, mini squat. Okay? Um, a common mistake that people make with this, as they're pulling through, they uh, forget to push their butt back out and they don't think of it as a squatting position and they're focusing more on the pull under. So we'll see a lot of this. Okay, this is obviously a really bad position because you can see it puts a lot of strain on my uh, lower back. So we gotta make sure that as we're pulling those elbows through, push that butt out and catch it in that mini squat. Now we're gonna go ahead and um, talk about the hang position. So, I'm sorry, the power position. So the power position is something we use uh, frequently and we'll tell you how to set up to get into it. So with the hook grip in place, we're gonna go ahead and push those elbows forward, rotate the shoulder blades back together so that I have a nice tall posture. I'm gonna drive my knees out, okay? This is the power position. Bar is in that hip crease. I've got a nice vertical chest. My knees are driving out. From here, go ahead and give me a little bit of a bounce because we'll be using that dip or that bounce to help us drive into the finishing position of the clean. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start standing up I'm going to give myself that little bounce. I'm going to jump and pull through to the finishing clean position. So let's go ahead and get into the power to start. Wrist forward, shoulder blades back together. And then I'm going to go ahead and dip, jump, and pull into that clean position. Dip, 
jump, pull through. Dip, jump, pull through. Okay? Now, that is the clean from the power position. We're going to go ahead and take the clean from what we call the hang position. And this is also known as a hang power clean. So, let's uh, set up in our power position first. Wrist forward, shoulder blades back together, knees out. And then what I'm going to have you guys do is shift the weight all the way back to your heels as this barbell slowly drags your thighs. And we're going to stop when the barbell gets just above our knees. This is the hang position, also something we covered with the snatch. It's key things we're looking for. Shoulders are in front of the bar versus here, back behind the bar. Okay? Big mistake right here. We want to make sure that we shift the weight back to our heels. You should be able to wiggle those toes in that bar. Shoulders are clearly in front of the bar by a few inches. Notice that I have just a slight bend in my knees so that these hamstrings are activated. I'm not here. Um, I'm more of a squatting position. Those hips are lifted. And then once we get to this hang position, what we're going to do is scoop our hips in towards the bar as I pull my chest backwards. So hips scoop in, chest pull back, and notice where we end up, back in our power position. Let's try that again. Shift the weight back to those heels into the hang, and then we're going to go ahead and scoop those hips in, pull that chest back. One more time, take it back to the hang position, and then go ahead and scoop in and pull back. Very nice. Okay, so then from here, we have all of the elements. We've got our hang position, we've got our power position, we've got our jump and pull through to that finishing clean position. So we're going to go ahead and do um, a hang power clean. So do it with me. Let's go ahead and go wrist forward, shoulder blades back together, knees out, shift the weight back to the heels into that hang position. It's going to stand sideways. Focus on having the shoulders over the bar, the slight bend in the knee, a nice neutral back as I look forward. I'm going to go ahead and scoop my hips in. And then once I make my way to that hip crease, I'm going to go ahead and touch my elbows to the side, jump, and pull into that finishing clean position. Let's go ahead and do that again. Take it back to the hang. Hips scoop in, jump, and pull through. One more time from the front view. Wrist forward, shoulder blades back together, knees out into that hang. Go ahead and take it down. I'm sorry power and once you get down into the hang and then you're going to go ahead and scoop those hips in jump and pull through okay so notice that we're landing at the top of the front squat okay or just a, a slight dip in our front squat position now that is what makes the terminology be called a hang power snatch the power snatch refers to a above parallel um, finishing position if we were to catch the the clean or the snatch below para parallel, then you insert the word squat before it. So I'll show you what a hang squat can look like. Okay, so that's where I kept, caught it at the bottom of the squat with my hip crease below the top part of my knee, also known as the low parallel for a squat. As a beginner, uh, we don't need to focus as much on that squat clean. We want you to nail the power clean before you really start to worry about that full squatting position. As you get more comfortable with the positioning, then all you do is punch your elbows hard, harder, pull yourself harder, and then the harder you pull, you should pull yourself down lower each time. So again, get comfortable with just catching it in a higher squat, and then as you gain more confidence, get more familiar with the movement, pull harder and pull yourself down lower into the bottom of the squat for a full squat clean. Now that is from the hang position, um, and as we mentioned in the snatch video, we want you to do the hang position for at least three weeks in the regular classes. Um, when people tend to take it from the floor position too soon, they develop a lot of bad habits where they just kind of rip it off the floor and forget about the positioning. So we want you to nail that hang position, and then once you get comfortable with that, then you can take it from the floor. So let's talk about it, how we do take it from the floor once we get there. So when I set up, I'm going to have that same position, feet underneath my hips with my toes elbowed out. I'm going to take the barbell from mid-shin. If I have plates on the barbell, the plates would physically be touching the floor. Um, my grip will be just outside my thighs or just outside my shins. When I set up here, the weight's going to be the, to the front part of my feet, and I'm going to have my shoulders in front of the bar, 
and I'm going to get my body tight. So I'm going to recommend pushing those ribs forward and then rotating those elbows out to get your back super tight. And then from here, we're going to shift the weight back to those heels. Notice where I am. I'm back in the hang position. Let's go ahead and take it back down to the chin. Weight goes to the front part of our feet. Shift the weight back to those heels. Okay? One more time. To the front part of our feet. Back to those heels. Into the hang. So really, when you're taking it from the floor, all you're doing is taking it from the ground position very slowly into the hang position. And then once you get to the hang position, that's where you can start to pick up speed. So you should see a pretty big speed differential from the first pull off the ground to the knees, and then from the second pull, which is from the knees back to the power position. So I'll show you the difference in speed there. So we're gonna go slow off the floor, and then we're gonna pick up speed once we get above those knees into that hang. Slow, fast. And that right there is your clean from the floor position.